guys, welcome back to my channel, The Makeover Mom. Today, I just want to go over a quick question that one of my subscribers asked me regarding event planning. Her question was, do you always have to plan full-scale events? Do you have to be a full-scale event planner? Is it just an all or nothing type of thing? This means, do you have to plan the event? Do you have to cover food? Do you have to cover decor, entertainment, photography, booking of all services and everything for any of your events? And the answer is no. You can be whatever kind of event planner you want. If you just go and do what everybody else does, what's already being offered in the industry, you're just gonna blend in with everybody else. I always recommend creating your own niche in the industry, your own specialization, or just Making sure that you're going into business doing something that just truly makes you happy. If you don't want to handle food, if you don't want to handle guest relations and things like that, that's okay. This subscriber in particular only wanted to handle event decor and that is trending right now. Everybody is getting into that field of being just an event stylist or an event designer and that's what I prefer as well too is just the event styling part of it so open your own event styling business you don't have to do everything else there's no rules to business there's no rules to what you can start and what you can do in this industry so for my business I don't handle food what I do is event design and entertainment I don't handle those things because I work a lot with children and I just don't want to get into it with the kids allergies these days the gluten and the peanut allergies I don't want to have anything to do with it so I let the clients handle that themselves so that's the only thing that they have to handle when they book with me but like I said I do smaller scale children's events so depending on your business depending on your clientele and what your business offers depends on what you're going to be offering but that also is up to you you're the owner of your own business do what makes you happy, do what you love, and the people will come, your clientele will come, and you'll end up making money, and you'll be happier for it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video soon.